are we going to be able to get through the video on this take? Because I hope so. This is like the third, fourth time trying this. It seems to keep on glitching out for some reason. Regardless, the topic for this week is do video games cause people to become violent? And of course, if you had asked me, an avid gamer like myself, as you can see our entertainment center just way back there, I say no. Or, of course, I would say no. If you had asked me at some other point in time, I would have said no. They do not cause violence. But, see, that's just the thing. They do. Or at least they do in a very somewhat way. Video games cause violence towards themselves. That is what I'm trying to say. Like, if you look at some... If you look at some old games I used to play, like Legend of Zelda, for example, they cause violence, but towards the characters in the game itself. Like, you're not going to play Legend of Zelda where you pick up a sword and slice at the skeletons, and then just go pick up a sword and slice at people, you know? But for some reason, that's what people seem to think, and I want that to get out of their minds. Of course, not all games have violence, but a lot of them do. I'm not just talking about Call of Duty, cause, or Halo. I'm talking about Harvest Moon has the potential for violence. You have a sickle, you have a hoe, you have a hammer, you can just, you have an axe, you can just attack your farm animals. Friends of Middletown, you are supposed to attack the wolf that comes to get you until your dog is old enough to fend it off for, you, for itself. And that is not, mu not, not much violence. The light just went off, that's... Hope you guys can still see me. I can see anything from the viewfinder. I... Because that great big light, that's what I'm staring at, is the light. So, <laughs> lose my mouth. Because, like, you'll hear th people saying things like, Oh, Billy, he played that video game, and then he went out and, like, killed this cat? And you'll never hear, Oh, Billy, he read this book, and then he went out and, like, started killing this cat. Because like, books don't kill people. Uh, uh, books don't cause people to kill people, even though they do. And not just the Bible, because... <laughs> But other books can cause people to want to go and kill people. It's not it doesn't happen almost ever. And video games don't cause people to become violent. Video games more so bring out the potential for people to be violent, but it has already been there the whole time. Like you're not just going to have some who would otherwise be a good person play a video game. It's like, oh, I can kill people, I'm gonna go and kill people then. No! What's going to happen is some person who is actually going to be a psychopath plays this game and then just acts upon it. But the game itself, it only brings it out if it was already going to be brought out. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? So then, ugh, all sweaty, my heart is pounding, I don't know why exactly. Regardless, regardless, uh, it's almost Halloween. That, hence the dark room and all that. Really, I'm not going to do much for Halloween. It, well, not for this video, exactly. I hope that you like it. I found out that this camera has a light on it. That's shining right in my face. I hope you guys can hear me all right. I'm just going to close my eyes, okay? Okay. But, um, I do have a costume I picked out. going to be a little forest ranger. going to wear this nice little hat. And I think that that will 